Hey, what's up? I hope you guys are doing great and welcome back to another build tutorial. Today, I am going to be showing you how to build your own Walmart store. And this was voted by you guys in another poll that I did. And as you can see, it was a tight race between Walmart and the car dealership store. But Walmart just done it. And if you do enjoy this tutorial, you know, smash that like button and uh, maybe hit the subscribe button as well. But without me wasting any more time, let's hop into the build. Here are all the materials that you will need. Plot of land you'll need for this build is 77 by 89 blocks. So first up, so starting from this point here, I'm just going to go across one block. And from this block, I'm going to go up 20 blocks in total. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then on this 21st block, I'm going to place one great concrete just there. And then just another three to create a two by two square just here and then i'm just going to heighten this by one more and then after that with some blue concrete i'm going to add another layer as well and then going back to our gray concrete i'm going to place one there and go up another eight blocks so one two three four five six seven eight so it should be nine in total and then i'm just going to build this all the way up And then once the pillar has been built up with some more grey concrete, just on this block, I'm going to place one. And then I'm just going to go across another 21 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And then coming back, I'm just going to place one more block underneath and then just build this across. And then just thicken this by one more behind as well. And then I'm just going to place eight more blocks just on the end here. So going two across. And then underneath these four blocks, I'm going to extend this going all the way down to the floor. And then just going three blocks up, I'm just going to replace these four blocks with some blue concrete. And then after that, I'm just going to bring this pillar out two more blocks in front. So again, just two more grey concrete there and then just building this all the way up. Just until we reach the top, just here. And then next up, from this point, I'm going to go up another seven blocks. And then I'm just going to fill in this little area just here. Just a great A2 by 4 rectangle just there. And then I'm just going to extend this up until we meet with this point just there. So next up, I'm just going to mirror this design on the right hand side. But first, I'm just going to create a gap for the entrance. So just from this point here, I'm going to count across 35 blocks in total. So one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. And on the 36th block, I'm just going to place one concrete just there. And then just next to it, I'm going to place another three blocks and then just extend this row out by one more. And then I'm just going to heighten this by one more. And then with some blue concrete, just add a layer of that as well. And then I'm just going to build this pillar up 16 more blocks. And then from this point, I'm going to go up seven blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And on this eighth block, going around, I'm just going to place one grey concrete there, and one more in front of that, and then just two more above just there. And then I'm just going to build across another 23 blocks. So 
Sorry, Larry. I, uh, I hate to do this, but... Uh... Larry! Please move. Please. Please. Okay. Larry apparently is invincible. And then I'm just going to extend this entire area to the end there. And once that's extended, I'm just going to place four blocks underneath again. And then just going to build this going all the way down. And then again, just going three blocks up, I'm just going to replace this layer with some blue just there. And then moving to the entrance here, just from this block just there, I'm going to place one grey concrete and then one underneath that. And then extending this to the front. And then I'm just going to extend this entire area to meet with that pillar over there. And then next up, just moving to the left hand side here, I'm just going to place one more grey concrete just there, and then another three, so four blocks in total. And I'm just going to build this up by one more. Then I'm going to add four blue concrete just there to line up with that point. And then I'm just going to build this going all the way up to the top. The next up, I'm going to go across 13 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. On the 14th block, I'm going to place one more grey concrete just there. Place one more on top. Blue concrete and then... More grey concrete going all the way just into our line with that point just there. And from this point, I'm just going to build this across, meet up with that wall. And from this point, I'm going to go down five blocks. And I'm just going to extend this area to meet up with that side. And then I'm just going to mirror what I've done on this side, on the other side as well. So again, just starting from this point here, I'm going to go across four blocks. Just there. Then I'm going to go up by another one. Then let's add four more blue concrete just there. And then just building this up to meet up with our other wall. And then I'm going to leave another gap of 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then again on the 14th block, I'm going to place one grey concrete just there. And the next up, I'm just going to go across another 36 blocks just until I meet with the end of our guide just over there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. And then from here, I'm just going to build this wall going all the way around until I meet up with that point over there, just on the other side. So I'm just going to build this going all the way around. And then just moving to the other side again, I'm just going to build this pillar up. So from this block, I'm going to place one more grey concrete on top, and then one more blue concrete, and then nine more grey concrete just on top of that. And then once that's done, just on this wall that we've just built going all the way around, I'm just going to heighten this by one more block. So next up, I'm just going to build this wall up by another layer, but this time I'm going to use some blue concrete for that. And then next up with some more grey concrete. Firstly, from this point, I'm just going to build this up 
just till we're level with this point here. And I'm just going to build this entire wall up, go all the way around, just so it's nine blocks high in total, so the same height of this pillar here. So I'm just going to do this going all the way around. And then just coming to the right hand side here. So I'm just going to go up six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And on that seventh block, just on the side of it, I'm going to place one more grey concrete. I'm just going to build that going all the way across. Just until I meet up there. And then going up five blocks, I'm just going to fill in this top wall just here. So next up, I'm just going to get on with the windows and all of the inside walls. So I've just got some white concrete here and then come into the left hand side of the building. Firstly, just on each side before we do this, I've got some grey concrete. And from this point, I'm going to go across two more blocks, up by two. I'm just going to switch to some blue. I'll put two blocks there as well. And then with some more grey, just going to extend this all the way to the top. And then I'm just going to do the same on the other side as well. So moving back to the right side with some white concrete. From this point here, I'm just going to place one just there. I'm just going to leave a gap of six and place another one. And then again, just going across another six and place one. I'm just going to repeat this process just until I reach the other end of the building just there. And then once all these pillars have been marked out, I'm just going to build these up so they're six blocks high in total. And then once all of them have been built up with some more white concrete, just coming to this left hand side here. And then I'm just going to build this going all the way across until I reach the other side of the building. And then after that, from this point, I'm going to build up four blocks. And then I'm just going to extend this all the way to the other end there. And then once that wall has been built up, I'm just going to get on with some side windows. And I've just got to quickly correct something. So just on each side nearest to the window here, I'm just going to I'm just going to put this back by one block, just so then the wall is level with the pillar just there. So I'm just going to do that on the same side. And then moving to the other side of each window, I'm just going to lengthen this by one more. Again, just doing that on the other side as well. And then moving to the first window on the left here. From this point, I'm going to go across six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And on the seventh block, just going to place one more white concrete. Then I'm just going to leave another gap of six and then place one more just on the end there. I'm just going to build each of these pillars up so they're six high in total. And then on this left hand pillar, I'm just going to bring that up by one more and then just build that all the way across. And then I'm just going to heighten this wall until it's level with this one just here.
And then once that's done, I'm just going to do the exact same thing on the other side. And then again, starting from this block, I'm just going to leave a gap of six again. I'm going to place one white concrete just there, one more gap of six, and then one more on the end there. And again, just extending it so it's six high in total. And then from this point, let's build this all the way across. And then just building this up. Just to be level with the other wall. And now we've got all of our windows, we can now do the inside walls as well. So just along these three walls just there, I'm just going to align this with some white concrete. So starting from this side, just going to place one white concrete there, build that all the way up, just until I'm level with the wall there. And I'm just going to do this going all the way around the entire building until I reach the other end over there. Now we've got all the walls built up, we can now start decorating the front of our shop. So firstly, just moving to the left hand side of the shop here, I've got some light blue concrete here. And starting from this block here, I'm just going to place one and then another one just in front of it just there. And then I'm just going to build this going all the way across just until I meet up with this grey pillar just here. And I'm also going to place two behind it as well. And then just going to replicate that on the other side. So again, starting from this block, going out by two and then just building this across. And then just in this main entrance area here, on my left point, I'm going to place two more blue concrete like blue concrete there and then I'm just going to build this going all the way across and so I'll meet up with the other side and then after that I'm just going to place two more just on the left hand side of the front here and then I'm just going to build this across so I'll meet with the other end So now we've got all of our foundations for our shop signs here. So now, just moving to the left-hand side with some more of this light blue concrete. I'm just going to go up by three blocks. Just there. And then I'm just going to build this going all the way across. So just until I'm aligned with the pillar just there. And again, just doing that on the other side as well. And then I'm just going to curve this around. So from this point, I'm going to curve it around just to line up with the wall over there. Again, just going to do that on the other side as well. And then once they have been built out, I'm just going to connect these walls together. And then just with this front wall, from this point, I'm going to build this up just until I reach the top there. And then I'm just going to build this across and to meet up with the other end there. So I'm just going to build this entire wall up. So next up, I'm just going to add some decoration to the front of our Walmart here. So firstly, just going to the right hand side, just for like a cool kind of modern pattern. Firstly, I've got some blue concrete and then just from this point, I'm going to go across four blocks. Then I'm just going to leave one gap and then on top of that I'm going to place four blue wall just there. 
then I'm going to leave one gap and then this time I'm going to use some light blue concrete and then I'm going to go across five blocks and then with some more blue wall leaving one more gap I'm going to go across five there and then leaving another gap of one this time I'm going to go in with some blue concrete I'm just going to place another five leaving one gap and then another five just underneath that one and then again another gap and then another five blue concrete just there and then underneath this I'm going to add some light blue just here and that just adds a cool little pattern to our shop there and, I'm, and then I'm just going to do a similar thing on this left hand side as well so starting on the left hand side with some blue concrete I'm going to place five going across again leaving our gap of one and then on top of that I'm going to add five blue wall then going across leaving one gap I'm going to use some light blue now again just going across five blocks leaving the gap underneath that and then five blue and the next up I'm going to add five blue concrete just both underneath each other just there and then I'm going to place four just on the end there leaving one more gap and then four light blue as well just there and the next up we're just going to do a bigger version of this pattern on the front here so firstly with some blue wall coming to the left hand side I'm going to place five just there I'm going to leave a gap and I'm going to add some light blue leave a gap this adds some normal blue now leave a gap this adds some light blue again so just sticking to that rule of going across five for each bit leaving one more gap and then five more blue wall just on the end there and then for the second row, so let's go in with some blue concrete. Let's do some more blue concrete just there. Next up, let's add some blue wall. Then let's add some blue concrete. And then let's add some light blue. And then let's finish off with some normal blue there. And then for our third row, let's go in with some more blue. Let's do some blue wall next to that. And then let's add some light blue concrete. Yeah, let's add some of that. Add some light blue concrete just there. And let's add some blue wall. And then next to that, let's add some light blue concrete again. And then let's add some blue concrete just on the end there. And then for the fourth row, let's go in with some light blue first. Just there. Then let's add some more light blue. Why not? And then let's add some normal blue just there. And then let's go in with some blue concrete just there. And then finally, let's add some light blue concrete just there. And then for our fifth row, let's start off with some blue wall. And then let's do some more blue concrete. And then more blue concrete just there. And then light blue concrete. And then let's add some blue wall. And then on the end, let's add some more light blue concrete just there. And then for our final row here, so let's go in with some blue concrete and let's add some light blue just here and then let's add some more blue concrete and then let's add some more blue concrete some more blue concrete why not and then some more blue concrete just on the end there and that will create our pattern for our walmart sign just here and now for the walmart sign so i've got some block of quartz quartz stairs and quartz stabs here and starting on the left hand side from the fourth row and then just on this block here, I'm going to place one block of quartz, one underneath that, and then I'm going to add an upside down stair, just there. I'm just going to add one going in the other direction, just next to that. And then I'm just going to add a slab next to that, and then a stair facing backwards on there. And then I'm going to add an upside down stair just next to that one. And then on top of this, I'm going to add two more block of quartz. Then from here, I'm going to add one more block of quartz and then a slab just on top for our W. And then just leaving a gap of one, I'm going to place two quartz slabs just here. And then I'm just going to place one just going half the way down on the right hand side there. Then I'm just going to place one block of quartz underneath that. And then underneath this, I'm going to place an upside down stair. And then I'm going to place two block of quartz next to it. And then I'm going to place one more block of quartz just on top of that. And then one next to the middle block. And that will give us our A. And then moving across, leaving one more gap. For our I, I've just got some block of quartz. I'm just going to place three just there. 
and then leaving another gap for our M. From this point, I'm going to place two quartz blocks just there. And then on top of that, I'm going to add a stair just there. And then next to that, I'm going to add one block of quartz. And then next to that, I'm going to add a slab. And then just underneath the slab, I'm going to add two more quartz blocks just there. The next is slab, I'm going to add one more block of quartz, followed by just a stair. And then underneath this stair, two blocks of quartz just there. And that'll give us our M. And then leaving another gap, let's make another A here. So again, one block of quartz just there, one next to it, and the next to that, let's add a stair just there. And then on top of this, I'm going to add one more quartz block and the next to that I'm going to add one quartz slab and then I'm going to add one block of quartz next to that and on top of this I'm going to add one quartz slab just there they're going up half a block to the left one more quartz slab there and then another one next to that and then leaving another gap for our R with some more quartz blocks this had three just there and then with some slabs on the bottom half of the top block it's had two going across there and then for our T just leaving another gap I'm going to place one quartz block just there, one underneath, and then some stairs underneath the quartz block just there. And I'm just going to place one upside down stair next to that, and then I'm just going to place one quartz slab to the right of the top block just there, and that will give us our Walmart sign. So next up, let's start off all of our flooring here. So I've got some polished andesite. I'm just starting on this left-hand side here firstly. On this point, I'm going to replace just the bottom bit of the ground with some polished and the site here. So just going in between all the windows, going all the way around. And then once that's done, I'm just going to fill in this entire area with some polished andesite. So now all of our floor has been filled in, we can now get on with some of the windows. So just moving to this centre pillar just here, so it should be aligned with the M just there. And I'm just going to the left of that, I've got some white stained glass here. Then on the left hand side, I'm just going to go all the way up, extend this out so it's two across just there, leaving a gap of two and doing the same on the other side. And I'm just going to repeat this on the window next to it. And then with some stone brick walls, just on the second block, just here, just second inner blocks, I'm gonna place two stone brick walls just there. And I'm just gonna do that same thing on the other side. And that'll give us our entrance just there. And then for the rest of our windows on the right and left hand side, I'm just gonna fill all of them with some white stained glass. And the next up, let's start with our roof here. So firstly, just on this right hand side, I'm just going to destroy these two blocks just there. Just going to do this on the same side as well, just on the other side. So now for our corrugated roof design, and that's like, and if for anyone who has followed the IKEA tutorial, it's a very similar roof design to that. So um, I've got some light grey concrete here, and just starting on this left hand side of the building here. On this block, I'm going to place one light grey concrete there. And just while leaving a gap for one, I'm just going to place these going all the way along until I reach the other side of the building.
just there. And just going one block below, just in between each of these gaps, I'm going to replace these with some light grey. So just going to do this again until I reach the other end. And then now we've got all of our points, I'm just going to extend each of these points to meet up with the wall on the other side here. So starting on the left hand side, from this point I'm going to go all the way across. Just until I meet up with the other end of the wall. Just here. And for the next one, I'm going to, I'm going to place one just here. And then I'm actually going to replace the top of this white wall to meet up with the other side. Just for this bit. And then again from this point, let's build this all the way to the other side. And then just going one lower and again building this all the way across. And then I'm just going to repeat this process until the whole roof is filled. And now with the majority of our roof covered, let's just neaten off this front area here. So firstly, with some more dislike gate concrete, as you can see, there's a little gap here. So what we're going to do, we're just going to place one there and then build this all the way across to meet the other side. And once that's done, as you can see, we can still see a bit of the blue on this back here. So I've just got some grey concrete. And then, firstly, I'm just going to build across just here. And I'm just going to build this wall going all the way to the top, just to cover all of this blue. And then just to neaten this off, one more bit with some grey concrete just on the left hand side here. Firstly I'm just actually going to destroy these top guides that we done earlier. And then just on top I'm going to add some grey concrete just across here. And then just going to repeat this on the other side. So again, just to show in these top bits. And then just building this grey concrete all the way to the other side. And just along this back area, from this point, I'm just going to place some more grey concrete, just going all the way along, just to neaten this off a bit. And then moving to the inside, as you can see, we've got some gaps here. So I'm just going to fill these in with some white concrete, just to neaten this off. So again, just doing that on the other side. Now everything has been adjusted, let's add some skylights to the roof here. So just going to the right hand side here, just where this pillar is, I'm just going to use this as some sort of guide. I'm just following this line up all the way to the top. And then from this point, I'm going to go up by four. And then on this fifth block, just going to destroy that. And then replace that with some 
light gray stained glass there. And then I'm just going to leave a gap of six and then place another one. And I'm just going to do this until I reach the end just over there. And if you place all the glass right, you should see each white pillar just through the glass on the top there. And the next one, I'm just going to repeat this whole row, but I'm just going to leave five blocks in between each one. So on this point, let's go across five and then on this one, just going to repeat our gap of six going all the way to the other end. And then I'm just going to repeat this process just until I'm five blocks away from the back wall just there. So after repeating this pattern, we've got loads of skylights just here to light up the inside of our shop here. So now with our main shop done, let's get some of the outside done. So first, here, I've just got some smooth stone and just following this whole blue border that we marked out at the start, I'm just going to replace this blue border with all of this smooth stone so just going all the way around and next up from this point i'm going to go across another five blocks so one two three four five then on this and then on this seven block just here i'm just going to destroy 11 blocks just here and then replace that with some gray concrete and then with some smooth stone starting from this left hand corner just here I'm just going to place two just here. And I'm just going to build these going all the way along and to meet up with the end of the wall over there. And the next up, back to this left hand corner here, I'm going to place two more smooth stone. And then I'm just going to place another four behind that. I'm going to go across another two and then just place another few blocks of smooth stone to meet up this point just there and then I'm just going to do the same on the other side so again from this point I'm gonna go across four blocks then just gonna place another four on top of that and then another four just on the other side there and the next up just from this point here I'm gonna place five more smooth stone just going along just there and then I'm just going to place some more smooth stone going across. Just until I reach the other pillar on the other side. Just there. And then I'm just going to follow this around. Meet up just there. And then after that I'm just going to fill in this area with all of this smooth stone. And then I'm just going to mark out all of our parking spaces here. So I've got some white concrete. From this point, I'm going to leave a gap of three. And then I'm just going to place five white concrete just there. Do another gap of three. And just place another five white concrete there. And I'm just going to repeat this going all the way until I meet up with the end all the way over there. Oh, and before I add some more parking spaces, let's just thicken this by one more just there. And then for some more spaces, I'm going to leave a gap of three. And then just place five white concrete just there. Leave another gap of three. And then just placing these. So just repeating this until I reach the end. Just there. And if you've done this right, they should align with the spaces 
opposite them. So I'm just going to repeat this on the other side. And then once all of our spaces have been marked out, I'm just going to fill in this entire area with some grey concrete. So next up, this adds some trolley areas in our car park here. So first, you just come into the left-hand side. Just going to go across three spaces. And then on this fourth space, this is where we're going to put our first one. So firstly, I've got some stone brick walls. And I'm just going to place four just here. So two on the first block and then another two on the fifth block just there. And on top of these, I'm going to add two birch fences. And then with some iron bars, I'm going to place these just in between the first three walls just there. And then with some quartz slabs, I'm going to place five just on either side just there. And then with some blue wall, I'm going to place three. And then just going to fill in this middle area just there. And then for our trolleys, I've got some rails here. I'm just going to place just there and then on top of these I'm going to add four mine carts and then with some birch fence gates I'm just going to place these and that will give us some handles for our trolleys there so I'm just going to repeat this design on the other side as well so going to the other end of the car park again going across three spaces and then on this fourth space is where we're going to put the other one so again i'm just going to place four stone brick walls again and on top of them let's add two birch fences as well and then with some quartz slabs let's place five on each side and then with some blue wall let's just fill the middle in with this and then with some iron bars place some in the gaps just in the first three sides just there and then coming inside this place another four rails and then let's add four mine carts just there and then let's add some birch gates for some more handles just there for all of our trolleys there so that is part one of the walmart complete so in part two i'll be showing you how to build the interior so I'll see you in part two. Have a good day.